Welcome back. I'm Zero, and these are seven time management tips from Harvard to make you super productive. And if you stay tuned to the end, we'll even throw in a bonus tip for you. Now, before we get into it, let's talk about time management and why it's important. Time management is crucial because it is a finite resource. Harvard has done extensive research on this topic. Today, we're here to find out what they've, those, those little nuggets of information they've gleaned and figure out how we can make those into actionable tips. Tip number one, set clear goals or set SMART goals. SMART goals are specific, they're measurable, they're achievable, they're relevant, and they're time bound. When your goals are well defined, you're more likely to be able to reach them. Tip two, time blocking. I went over this in a previous video. I will link to that right here. It's important to block out your time to stay on task, prevent yourself from multitasking, and to keep yourself from getting caught up in just those extraneous other tasks that seem to like suck time out of your soul. Tip three, prioritize your tasks. We did this a little bit in the previous video as well, but having a clear idea of what tasks are your most important tasks and handling them first will help you break up your day and get the most important things done first. Tip four, turn off your email notifications. Put your phone on mute. Better yet, put your phone downstairs in the closet and don't pay attention to it for an hour. We spend a large chunk of our day interrupted by things like email, things like social media, things that can wait, things that could have their own designated time. I'm not saying don't check your social media. I'm saying set yourself a limit and only check your social media at lunch and after work or every four hours. Nowhere is it written that when you get an email, you have to read it or respond to it right then. Tip five, and this one eh, can, like you can take it or leave it. It's something that I can't do as much because I do work for myself, but if you work as part of a team or you work in an office environment, remember to delegate and collaborate, baby. A lot of times other coworkers are doing the same or similar tasks as you. So if you can consolidate this all down to one person and that's one thing that they can handle and you can spend that time working on something else. And if you have subordinates, maybe some of the tasks that you're handling yourself could really be handled by your subordinates. Don't think of it as just assigning work to them, but think about it as assigning them tasks that will help further their career as well. Tip six, and I say this over and over and over, take breaks. <laughs> if you just sit and stare at your computer, your workload all day, brain is bound to go into autopilot mode. And when you're in autopilot mode, you're not doing any critical thinking. So tasks are not getting handled with a critical mind. Tip seven, learn when to say no. I've heard it said over and over that, that the majority of people want to please other people and they want to please their boss. So they always say yes and they end up taking on too much of a workload that they can actually handle. To combat this, you should try saying no to something at least once a week. Remember, when you say no, you're taking your time back and being able to use it for yourself. All right, guys, and that's seven time management tips from Harvard that should help you get through your day. But let's not forget about the bonus tip. Don't forget to reflect and adjust. For example, when I tell you to time block, if you block out an hour in the morning for your emails and it takes you 45 minutes to get through those emails, remember to go back and change that time block to 45 minutes. That way you give yourself another 15 minutes to do something else. The goal is to understand how to manage your time well enough to where you don't have to time block anymore, that you just understand what needs to get done. Don't be afraid to make little adjustments throughout your day in order to handle your time more effectively and make your day go a little bit faster. All right, guys, there's your eight tips. I hope that helps you manage your time a little bit more effectively and pushes you to be a modern day ace. Now I gots to go. Woo!